What we want to do at Lux is, is really help people celebrate life. Welcome to Les Rendez-vous Aikis, conversations with incredible people about the real estate industry. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Les Rendez-vous Aikis. Today I had the pleasure to be joined by Caroline Go. So Caroline Go is the Vice President of Marketing for Lux Collective. Hello Caroline, how Hello. are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for your time today and for answering my questions. With pleasure. So um, if you could start maybe by telling us more about you, your background, your experience. So first I'm a member of Two Little Boys and I <laughs> want to mention it because it's it's a hard job. Yes. Um, and I'm also the Vice President of the Lux Collective, so we're a management company okay. uh, managing a portfolio of four brands. Great. Um, the first one, the most known one is Lux Resorts and mm -hmm. Hotels. Um, so we target uh, with that brand really the luxury market, okay. but we have a different approach. So we have a lighter, brighter approach on luxury. More so authentic. To, exactly, more <laughs> authentic and genuine. Um, not, you know, your traditional luxury, a bit heavy. Yeah. We are a very lighthearted brand. Yeah. Um, the second brand we manage is Salt. Okay. Salt is completely different. Um, the, the target market are the cultural tourists okay. and the ethical travelers. Okay. So we want our guests to, to go out and explore the island uh, or the destination we are in. Of course, the hotel is beautiful, amazing F&B and rooms, okay. etc. But the aim is to yeah, get you off and just explore. Great. And the third brand is Tamasa. Okay. Tamasa is a very joyful, vibrant, colorful brand. It's all about bringing people together. Okay. Um, so we create experiences that will help our guests uh, disconnect to reconnect. So we target a lot of families, a group of friends, but also couples uh, who just want to have a good time together. Yeah. And the last brand, the fourth brand in the portfolio is Socio. Socio, as the name kind of sounds, yeah. it's social. Um, it's um, it's more a urban like city hotel. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a brand at the moment. We don't have a hotel yet, um, and the first one's gonna open next year. So okay, I, it's very gonna be exciting. A more socio <laughs> next year. For the time being, we have we have all the like brand values, positioning, yeah. um, uh, visual assets, and everything. But we don't have the actual um, hotel yet. Okay, so very interesting. Four brands. That's a lot to manage. Um, could you tell us more about your day-to-day -day as a vice president of such a big brand? And also, since we're in current, I mean, in lockdown at our home, how does it work for you? So, well, that, the, the thing I really love with my job is that I don't really have like a routine and a really good okay. like, day-to-day. Sometimes I can just be um, at the office and have those like fruitful meetings with my team, very creative, brainstorming ideas, yeah. and doing a lot of emails, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, not the funnest part, but that's part of it um, but sometimes I'm going out to the hotel I'm going out for photo shoots okay. I'm doing the creative direction on, on our shoots um, for all the brands um, and it's also a lot of, of meetings and connection with people uh, yeah. which is also something I really, really like you know we, we are hospitality brand so yeah. we do love people and connect with people that's great and you do get to meet such different people every day yeah right exactly. um, so maybe for those who are not really a customer about the brand what is the story behind, I, I would say, Lux Collective? I mean, not Lux Collective because it's a management brand, but maybe what's the story behind Lux, which is the most known brand? Uh, how did it all start? So um, Lux started 10 years ago. We're going to turn 10 in December this year. Okay. And it's quite funny because I joined um, the company yeah. when Lux was launched 10 years ago nearly. So, wow. So you um, got to see it go from exactly. ground to outside. Exactly. And it was outside. for me as a, as a marketer and a, and a branding um, passionate, it's, it was a gift because you yeah. have everything to build from scratch. You know, you just launched the brand Incredible. and you have like everything is, is yours. Um, so it all started really with um, a simple idea, but we wanted to, to do differently, yeah. um, to offer something new and more modern to our guests mm -hmm. and really have a more um, authentic, genuine approach to luxury. So yeah. our tagline is um, lighter, brighter. It means a lighter, brighter approach on luxury. Yeah. What we want to do at Lux is, is really help people celebrate life. Yeah. So we think carefully all the little details during your stay, uh, with little surprise, little moments, the perfect F and B, the wellness, to make sure that we make each moment matter. Yeah. Um, the idea was really to break the 
you know, the sea of sameness with yeah, all the, the, the island resort where, okay, we all have a beautiful beach, we all have a, a great pool. pool. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's just the same, same, same. So we needed to have this, this reason for people to choose us, not just because of price or whatever, because of the brand, because they love the brand and, yeah. and what it stands for, the values and the personality of it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I must say uh, I have had the, the pleasure and the honor to be able to uh, have a say at the Lux Grown Go. And Lovely. it is very, very different from the other luxury resorts that is on the island. And there's such an authentic feel and experience that we get to enjoy while we're there that I think is just brilliant. So happy to hear yeah. that. <laughs> it's true, Lux Grand Bobies is one of the, the latest, um, like we renovated um, recently. And one thing which is very strong at Grand Group is the yeah. FNB. So we yes. have strong, you know, it's not just hotels in a restaurant, like it, um, it's not just restaurant in a hotel, yeah. it's really FNB concept. So you can take that in tea, put mm -hmm. it in Paris, you can take Bodrum Blue, put it in New York, that it will work. Yes. It's, it's just very strong uh, concepts. Yes, and I, I would say, for my personal experience, those are kind of like one of the best restaurants I've had the honor of tasting in Mauritius. Wait for Lux Grand Really, really <laughs> incredible Wait food. Wait for more. More's coming. <laughs> and so, so how would you say, how would you describe the experience when one would expect to feel when he's going to a Lux hotel? So first, as mentioned before, the attitude of, of our team member mm -hmm. is very natural, um, light-hearted. So okay. you don't feel that, you know, heaviness sometimes yeah. of luxury clothes. Of too much. Yeah, you know, you feel sometimes a bit mm, um, yeah. not that you're, you're not really comfortable. Um, and then the experience is really, is really um, around our pillars. Um, okay. So we have creative dining experiences. So just what we mentioned before, yeah. not just the basic restaurant in a hotel, yeah. a real concept you want to mm -hmm. go. You don't you don't know where you want to dine tonight because everything is so exciting. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I feel every time <laughs> I go there. <laughs> you need to go several times. Yeah. Um, and then we have the wellness part. So we have our own uh, spa brand called okay. Luxme. Okay. Um, so Luxme is really a 360 approach to well-being. So it's mm -hmm. not just a spa, but it also touch fitness and nutrition um, to make sure that you have a 360 wellness um, approach. Experience. Yeah, experience. Wow. Um, and then the other pillar is the pop-up and surprise. So yeah. those little moments that really became signature to Lux. Uh, you might have heard about um, Tele uh, Fun Home, yeah. the, the London uh, phone booth somewhere in the garden or, or in the hotel. Um, Icy ice cream, Cinema Paradiso, Aperitivo, the pop-up oh, yeah. bar on Definitely. the beach. So these little um, experiences and, and surprise for our guests mm -hmm. really um, became signature to, to what we do. and, and you know, it's, it just creates those little unexpected touches during your stay and you just feel like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Like message in a bottle. You can just walk on the beach, suddenly you see a bottle. What, what's that? You open it? That's so nice. Oh, wow. I just I just got like a free, a free spa treatment or a bottle of champagne. It's spontaneous. It's generous. It's not expected. Yeah. And and that's what we like to what we like to do for our guests. That's what makes it all so magical. Mm -hmm. And so how can you how how do you manage to translate that experience in the different looks that you have around the world? Because so right now you I think so Lux is a, a company that's headquartered in Mauritius yeah, and in uh, and in Singapore uh, you also have hotels in Maldives yeah. uh, Reunion Island and China which yeah. is growing so much yeah. how are you managing to bring this experience in other hotels well first we have an amazing team yeah uh, and that's <laughs> very important um, we really like um, we have this family feel yeah. Um, and and at what I do, my job is really to create all those, you know, brand standards, uh, make sure everything is very clear, how, how it should look, how it should feel. Um, so we do have all those documents very clearly um, detailed and designed um, so that each hotel know really what to do. We do have a clear set of, of yeah, standards and procedure okay. for each of the experiences. Um, and then, yeah, they just follow the brand standard and, and they sign up to, to that brand. So they also really want to show off Lux, you know. It's, yeah. So we have owners and they sign for Lux, so mm -hmm. they want to have this brand. So they'll make everything they can to, to be um, true to it. All right. And um, so because you're in, present in different countries, 
do you adapt a more uh, do you try to bring the authenticity of the country in yep. the experience of the hotel or right it's a uh, okay definitely yeah. we do we do that so um obviously and it's also what guests are looking for you don't want yeah. like to have a standardized looks everywhere with your personality so it needs to reflect in the fnb or some of the experiences uh, the local of course um and yeah in china even you know our amenities are different you know the the scent okay so in the indian ocean it's maybe mango papaya in the island but when you go to china you'll have the um the green tea um and some other like really white flower flavors from from the destination so, so we, we do customize things yeah so how would you describe the typical client profile of a lux hotels um, for the Lux brand, the target audience is the uh, simplicity searcher, okay. we call them. So it's this type of guest who want to, you know, they work hard and they just want to go on a holiday, think about nothing, um, but they want us to take care of everything and they want to have what is needed for, for mom, for dad, for the kids. Yeah. Um, they want to have food from all over the world. I mean, everything in one place, just let me chill and that's it. So this is kind of the, the, the audience of, of, of Lux. Um, we have clients from all over the world yeah. um, and of all age as well. Um, it's true that it's 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 a young brand mm -hmm. and kind of, but you know, you have people um, who might not look young when you look at their age, but in their mindset, they're so young, so it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> all right. So we have just a yeah, young at heart type of guest. Okay. A really true hospitality experience that's different and, and edgy. Is there a specific region where you're focusing your um, expansion on, or is it just more have a, is it just you have a more generalized approach to yeah. your expansion? So first, our like strategy for development is is obviously the Indian Ocean because yeah. I mean we have a head office here, we know well the region. Um, so that would be the first circle of development, mm -hmm. but we also have another one in Southeast Asia. Okay. Uh, and I mean, a lot of the, the new projects that you might have seen on the website are in this region, um, China, but also uh, Vietnam. Yeah. Um, and, but we do have projects also elsewhere. So uh, we're such a young brand, you know. We, the sky we, is the limit. Yeah, you know, we <laughs> won't say no to anything. We're just really open-minded. Uh, and we'll consider any new project. So, yeah. well, we have this project in France, in Italy. I mean, yeah, life is full of opportunity and yeah, that's the You thing. do really represent the brand very well <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you. So um, I take it as a compliment because I love it the is. brand so much. <laughs> you can tell. Definitely. Um, so um, you have a mix of different type of hotels as well. There's resorts, more boutique hotels, and you are opening residences so yeah. could you tell us more about those different types of you know lodging experiences that you provide yeah so well first lux is really more resort oriented mm -hmm. and maybe the boutique you're talking about is lux t horse road so yeah. lux t horse road is more like a sub brand okay but in a very specific region in china um, at the border of tibet it's yeah. amazing i was there end of 2019 to visit um, some properties and I mean, just before the world became that yeah. crazy place. <laughs> um, and it was an amazing experience. Wow. I mean, I've, I've traveled a lot, but I went there a bit like, mm, not too sure. I fell in love completely. It's, it's, it's China, but it's nature, mountain. It's close to Tibet and, it, and it's amazing. But it's a sub brand of ours because okay. um, it's not a resort. Mm -hmm. You really can't have the same, you know, standards as we of mentioned course. before. Um, it's like 25, 30 rooms. Um, some of the new retreats we've just added have just seven or eight rooms. Okay. But we are in the <laughs> most epic, beautiful location um, on the cliff with a 360 view. Wow. I mean, it's it's stunning. I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the boutique as part of the Lux brand. So it's really like a sub brand. Okay. But Lux is really more um, hotel and resort. Um, and the new one coming in of this year, Lux Convey. Uh, will have a more boutique resort approach. Okay. It's smaller in, in, in size, but yet it's still a, a resort in the beach. And, and on the residences question, then, yeah, we do have residences as part of some of the, yeah. the hotel, um, also villas. Um, so we offer this type of product as well for guests to stay in a bigger um, accommodation. Yeah. Some prefer mm -hmm. to travel with a family, have a, like a big villa to stay in. 
but also we open to even wider um, people who just want to own a piece of, of our paradise you yeah. know, and, and just get to have their own villa and we have a very interesting uh, scheme for owners um, because the, the villa re um, enter the renting pool for our guests. Okay, um, so, so how does it work? The... Don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, di it di it's different for each of the projects. Okay. So, Based on what the owner wants, um, it will be different. So okay. um, it's really case by case. So could you tell us more about the Lux residences, uh, where they are present and uh, what type of clients you're expecting? So at the moment they are being um, built. Uh, we're going to have residences and we do have residences on sale at Lux Convey in Mauritius yeah. uh, that will open in November this year. But we will also have residences um, in our project in, in Vietnam, Lux yeah. Fukuok. Okay. And in France, Lux La Baraquette in the south of France. Beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be very stunning. It's 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 already in sale, so everything can be wow. uh, checked out, and, and already owners can um, show interest, and yeah, and get to own a piece of, of those amazing projects. That's very interesting for it us is. in real I estate. Is, I can imagine. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, Mauritius is finally reopening its borders. We are so happy yeah. that you know we get to welcome all the tourists back to our beautiful island. How is Lux preparing for that? Lux and, and the Lux Collective yeah. as a, as a yeah. wider group because we do have salt in Mauritius Definitely. and Kamasa. Um, We've been preparing for 15 months. Uh, we've been waiting for that moment to come earlier. We didn't know, and, and, and I mean, you know the story. Um, but we've been working um, very hard on, on, I mean, rethinking yeah. ourselves, um, rethinking what that new normal guest would want. Mm -hmm. um, so we've worked on a new series of collectible experiences, okay. um, a series of, of experiences that would really um, bring something new to the client, help him or her discover the island or the destination differently yeah. in a more meaningful, careful and mindful manner. Okay. Um, so it, it, it ranges from um, um, having a, a glass of champagne on the top of Le Mans after closing hours at sunset. It can be um, uh, hopping on the traditional pirog and go to Ilo Bernache uh, yeah. when there's no one and hope for like a beautiful picnic. So very unique Very unique, curated by our team. I mean, yeah, it's because you're Lux guest, you're gonna have access to that wonderful creative mm -hmm. experiences. But it just brings more like meaningfulness. Yeah. Um, it, there's always in each of these collectible experience a connection to um, either to sustainability, to the community, to the local, uh, to healthy food, to, to your wellness. It brings something more than just a beautiful time when you come back home. You just have a bit more with you. Yeah, definitely. Because I do feel like once we are reopening, we might not attract the same clients that we did before. Maybe they're going to travel in a different way as well in search of more sustainable approaches and, you know, um, more green developments. And I feel like Lux really has this first step forward mm -hmm. compared to like the other maybe resource that there is already on the island where you have already have some approaches being uh, done to um, welcome those type of clients, right? Yeah, it's so important to us and um, the, the actual positioning of the Lux Collective is we make each moment matter and we care about what matters. And okay. what matters is really, well, the planet, the community, our people, um, so we do put a lot of emphasis in that. Uh, we've we've removed all the plastic for, from our amenities. Yeah. Um, so in your room, wow. you won't find a single uh, single use plastic piece. Um, we're very careful of food waste. Mm. We have a program in place um, yeah. at this hotel that's been long since um, um, many years, put in place by the, by the GM to really reduce food waste. Uh, I mean, we have a program called Tread Lightly. Uh, where we reduce um, the, the carbon emission, we yeah. try to bring you um, zero carbon free at holidays. Um, there's so many initiatives, even at the moment in my department, we work on, on you know, design and, and, and we try to avoid waste. We rethink completely what we do yeah. in terms of, of packaging for a product, brochure, we go digital, we, everything is really thought through mm -hmm. to make sure that we, we care about what is needed. That is so great. So yeah, Mauritius is opening tomorrow. I mean, we are so excited to finally go to restaurants, go to the yeah. beach and just do everything we used to be doing before. What are you planning to do tomorrow? this weekend or tomorrow? <laughs> so tomorrow I'm, I'm going to have lunch in a beautiful restaurant I love. It's already booked. Wow. Because um, yeah, Mauritius reopened for um, us. Yeah, for locals. To have yeah. access to restaurants. 
uh, but I'm also working um, day and night at the moment on the reopening campaign for our okay. resort. Yeah. Um, so as from 15th of July, as you know, we're going to have the in-resort stays. Yes. Um, so Lux Congo is in there and also Tamasa. Um, and then as from 1st of October, we're going to um, reopen all our hotels on the island and, and yeah, be able to offer those experiences to our guests So again. as from the 15th of July, people can still come and stay at the Lux Grand Group and Tamasa. Yes, so vaccinated travellers, yeah. they can come, they can stay um, from one night to 14. Yeah. And if they stay 14 nights, after the 14th night, they can just go out and explore Mauritius freely. That's great. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to it really and, and be able to do you know what we do best. We want to help people celebrate life. We want to be in our hotels and, and yeah. be with people. And it's been very frustrating for our team that to be able yeah, to I can do imagine. That. Yeah. Yeah, well we'll look forward to it. We look forward to the reopening of the Lux Hotels, whether it is for locals and foreigners. Um, thank you so much thank for you. your time today. <laughs> we had such a great time talking with you and thank you for answering my questions. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you all for joining our episode today. If you have not watched our previous episodes, we're going to link them up right there. And to stay updated with the latest happenings at iKeys, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. And now, if you want, could we take a picture? Let's take a picture. <laughs>